What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Serge. As always, go ahead, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. We're actually gonna go ahead and talk about what to look for in a mentor and what I actually look for when I wanna start something new and what I'm doing and looking at when finding a new mentor. Why look for a mentor? Honestly guys, looking for a mentor is one of the crucial things when it comes to starting a business and building a business, right? Because there have been people and there are people that have already succeeded in it in whatever it is that you want to do so having a mentor allows you to be able to ask them questions they're going to be able to be there to help you uh, avoid a lot of the mistakes that they've made doing whatever it is that you're wanting to do so that is why it's crucial to get a mentor or at least try to go find the mentor as you guys all know recently i had started going to real estate school to go get my real estate license i'm currently still doing that and so I decided to reach out to a couple of real estate agents here in the East Valley of Phoenix to hopefully get mentored by them and to hopefully learn uh, the ropes, learn what they have to teach me. So I reached out to a couple of them and before I did that, I actually went on Google um, and researched a couple of these guys to make sure they're credible and everything. So I'll tell you guys exactly what I look for when looking for a mentor and what you guys should be looking for when looking for a mentor. First, what I look for is credibility, right? I want to see if they're still doing whatever it is that I'm wanting to do because if they haven't been in the industry for a while, things do change, uh, stuff happens, and they're not caught up to speed with all that's going on. So they're not gonna be able to give you that proper guidance that you need on things that are recently happening in the industry. So you want to make sure that they're still doing it and then i also make sure to see how long they've been doing it right their experience on how long they've been doing it if you feel like okay they know what they're doing and their experience backs that up and their success backs that up then they are probably more than credible and so definitely pursue that secondly what i would do is actually reach out to these people and set up a time to meet them right ask them Hey, can I get you a cup of coffee? Can we meet up for a cup of coffee? Or can we go out you know, for lunch or something? Do something in that sense so that it makes them, you know, that it shows that you value their time and that you're not gonna waste their time and actually buy their coffee for them, buy their lunch for them. You know, they are taking time out of their day to meet up with you. So do something nice like that. Go get them a cup of coffee, do something like that and show that you do appreciate them and see if your guys' personalities match. You know, if you guys actually get along, if instantly you get this vibe that they're weird, I wouldn't, you know, continue trying to pursue them as your mentor because that's just down the road, you're just gonna be like, yeah, I'm tired of this guy or I'm tired of this person. And you don't want that. You want your mentor to be like a long-term friend of yours, right? You wanna build that relationship because you want them not only to be your mentor, but to eventually be your friend and you guys can hang out, discuss, talk, and surround yourself with those like-minded people, right? And their connections will ultimately help you as well. And so make sure that you do get along with them. And if you don't and you feel like, okay, there's something off about this person, they seem shady, they seem sketchy, they are weird, they have just whatever the case may be, you know, that's very crucial because like I said, it's a long-term thing and you want to build that long-term relationship rather than that just, you know, temporary relationship just to gain what it is that they have to offer and then move on from there. So, you know, you always want to be able to reach out to them and be their friend. Thirdly, what you want to do um, ultimately, once they, once you kind of meet up with them, once you've done all this, those two first things, they will also be reading you as a person. So they're gonna see not only what you have to offer, but you also wanna see what they have to offer, what value they have to offer. And good mentors, guys, I'll tell you right now, are ones that actually see the potential you have, right? Because they're gonna try to exploit those potentials. They're gonna try to push you and offer you opportunities so that you are able to reach your potential. That, those are good mentors. Like That is what I've noticed about good mentors is that they actually see the potential you have, the drive that you have, and so they will offer you certain things, right? Like, hey, let's figure out how we can market you and get you out there and push you to reach your potential and 
also, you know, hey, you should, they, they offer different advice, you know, hey, this is what you should do because it'll help you be better, become better, and that is what you want your mentor to do. So thirdly, that's what you want is a mentor that's actually going to push you to your potential to actually believe in who you are and they're going to see that and they want to see your success, not the other way around. If you come across a mentor who's like, oh, don't do that because it's if they like in a sense if they hinder you from actually doing something good something positive something that will actually give you not only just more money but you know just better value th that type of mentor is not good because and then also you can usually tell uh usually they'll just they'll be a little bit hesitant to encourage you they'll be hesitant to actually like push you because they know that you have that potential they know that you'll succeed but when you find mentors that are like hey sky's the limit for you or they really believe in you that's great and usually you know those types of mentors will help you get get you to where you need to get and so that's what you want out of a mentor really is those three things right so to pretty much sum it up make sure that they're credible so also make sure that you guys get along you're trying to build a lifelong relationship with them be their friend and thirdly you want to make sure that they exploit all your potential that they see the value that you bring to the table and that you're not there to waste their time or your time also guys from my personal experience finding a mentor is really good because you don't know what you don't know honestly so don't act like you know everything because you don't and I don't know everything in whatever it is that I'm doing so having a mentor allows you to have that opportunity to ask them questions when you're unsure about something right and when you don't know something it is so easy to make a lot of mistakes when you don't have somebody there kind of hey you're not doing something right they'll call you out on certain issues and on certain problems and that is why it's so good to have somebody to hold you accountable when you're not doing things right. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you liked everything in this video, the topic that we covered, go ahead, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and also just leave a comment down in the comment section for me, anything you guys want me to cover, any questions you guys have for me. And again, thank you and God bless. Bye.